There's debate tonight over whether fentanyl dealers should be charged with murder if they've already received a warning during a prior arrest. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria supports the proposed state law, calling for harsher punishment. He argued in favor of it today at the state capitol, but as our political reporter Morgan Reiner tells us, the bill is not making progress. The senators against the bill say they wanted to be clear in the bill that the dealer explicitly knew he was selling fentanyl before they would get this permanent warning on their record. To that, the Democratic author said, you don't have to prove that someone knew they were drinking alcohol before they got a DUI and killed someone. Parents lined up to testify in favor of SB 44, which would require a fentanyl dealer be warned on the first arrest that if a future deal ends up killing someone, they can be charged with murder. Among them, Marika Cole. She told me her son, 25-year-old Merrick, who had autism and the mind of a 13-year-old, suffered the same fate in 2021 when she found him unresponsive in his room. It happened so fast. By the time I was on my third round of CPR, the sack fire was there and they did an IV so I know I did the CPR right but they couldn't keep them going. She said SB 44 could have helped in her case. My son would be alive because this person did prison time before. But Senator Scott Weiner and Nancy Skinner believe this bill will have too many unintended consequences. The idea that some college student selling a pill to his roommate and having no idea and no reason to know that there's fentanyl in there would then get this nuclear murder warning on his or her record. I think that's a step too far. Author of the bill, Senator Tom Umberg, said one, the person does need to know they are selling something illegal. Then, only if the person is convicted, will they get this warning. It should not be this difficult to get members of the Public Safety Committee to vote for victims and against drug dealers. But sadly, that's where we're at today. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria testified on behalf of the big 13 cities in the state. He told me he has strong concerns about the Public Safety Committee. Go back to their districts and more specifically go to the coroner's office and see the bodies of people lined up in hallways who have overdosed on fentanyl and they'll understand why this legislation is not only appropriate, practical, but it should be passed. Democratic Senator Tom Umberg, the author of the bill, told me he will not give up this fight until it is passed. On Thursday, the Public Safety Committee on the Assembly side is going to hold a big hearing to talk about the remaining fentanyl bills they have.